Hey David, Terry Bradley here, simpleswingthoughts.com, and thank you for sending in your golf swing today. Um, I actually got that in uh, another email address, and I don't know how it got there, but, um, uh, but I found it, and um, uh, we're going to get you going here. Uh, now, at the bottom of the screen, I've got um, a PGA golfer named Padraig Harrington, uh, and we're going to sort of do some comparisons both down the line and front view uh, with Padraig and your swing. Now, uh, I want to start over here. Now, um, Dave, next, David, the next time you send your swing in, um, send it in hitting a ball because it, hitting a ball really produces a lot more information than, than just swinging because, um, believe it or not, the way, pe way people swing without a ball is totally different than how they swing with a ball. So, uh, so the next time you send it in, I'd like to see you with a ball so we can uh, get, get, get even more information out of your swing. But anyway... Um, there's some things I like about your swing, David. Uh, the first thing is I like the way you bring your arms back. You extend your arms back to where the club head right here is still outside the, your hands here. Uh, you got the V going, so you got the one piece takeaway. Um, now, when you come to the top, actually, I like this position here too because the, the club is parallel and you've got good arm extension there. Now, when you come to the top, I see that your left knee is coming in. Now, I don't know if you have back issues or if you've got some type of... Um, 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 issues to where it's hard for you to turn, but this indication tells me that you're trying to take, take some pressure off your back, and that's fine. Um, just uh, didn't know if that was the case or not. So when you come to the top, this looks good. It looks pretty decent there. Now what happens is you see how, uh, and this is fine, I just, I've, you see how your hands collapse into the back of your neck? Um, you know, that's, you know, I don't know how you hit the ball, but if you're used to doing that, 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 would be, that would be fine, but what I'd like to see is more of a, when you get to right here, sort of take, keep taking that club back instead of collapsing it back on, your, on the back of your neck like, okay? Now, I'm going to give you a comparison with Padre Carrington. Now, notice when Padre Carrington, I'm going to move this up here, is over the ball, he comes back, he extends his arms, again, club face outside the hands, he comes to the top of his backswing. Now, at right here, you see where your arms have kind of collapsed. See, you, you, in other words, you're in good position there, and then you just bet your arms basically collapse, and the club really falls off its plane, where as Harrington comes up, he keeps the club right there on plane to where now he's able to just drop his arms. See how he just drops his arm right into place? and then he can get the club right back out in front of him. Okay, now, because you actually laid the club off a little bit, now you're really going to have to do something here. And what you do is you, you kind of lift the club on your backswing a little bit right there, then it comes back around your neck. And now you're in a position to where everything's kind of tight here. You see, you see you're coming down and Podrick's coming down. You see where uh, the two differences is. You're really tight here, whereas Podrick has still got his arms away from his body. Now, I just put out a video for swings for seniors and what I might do is link that to, to your video here so you can review that if you haven't reviewed it already. But you can get a lot of power just by actually taking your club back maybe three quarters of the way down. I mean three quarters of the way back. So again as Padre comes down to the ball, he gets the club out in front of him now, he's in great position to, to really hit the ball with his head behind the ball. Now as you come down you see how you're really coming down to the inside, actually you're coming out of the outside, and now it's really going to be hard. Now you're going to cut across the ball. You see how you're, you're cutting across the ball now because you had to basically throw your club down off your neck. See that? See how outside the ball you are? You see how Harrington is right here on line, okay? So let's work on that um, to, to make sure that we don't, lay the club off on our neck but keep the club out here and then just drop our arms you see just and then just drop your arms this way and, and then as Harrington as you see Harrington does it he keeps this club up he just drops his arms right into place to where he can hit the ball now let's go over here to the front view now a few issues here again I like the way you take the club back one thing that happens is that here again that that knees coming up that that, um, that left knee is starting to come up, which is fine. But what happens though, David, you, you come way off your ball. You see how your spine now 
excuse me with this. You see how your spine now is way off the ball? Okay, your, your, your spine is, is way over, hold on just a second. Your spine is like way over here where it should be right there, okay? Because at address, because what we did was at address, we, I'm going to keep the, my marker here. So as, I come, as you come back off the ball, you see how, you see how you're way off your spine angle? Your spine's way over here. It should be right there. Now, notice as we look at Harrington, notice how when he starts his backswing, there's his ball. See, when he comes back, everything here stays centered. Okay, he's not going to move. You see, now he's at the top of his backswing and everything stays centered. See, you're way over here. The ball's here and your spine's pointing over here. Okay, so it's better, David, to, to get a less back, uh, I guess um, not as much backswing as it is to keep centered over the spine so you can just drop your arms right into place, head behind the ball, and hit through the ball. Okay, so work on that, David. Just work on, and if this scrub line's getting in the way, I'm sorry. Um, just wanted to point that out. Just, just work on, David, taking the club back right to here, keeping a little bit inside there, and then just work on stopping about right there, okay? And then just dropping your arms into place, okay? Don't, don't go on back and, and do that, okay? But I like the way you come through the ball. I like that action through the ball as you drop your arms coming through the ball, and it looks like your hips are kind of way out there a little bit, okay? We don't probably don't need to be that far out because notice Harrington, notice as he comes through the ball, the hitting zone, see, he's, his hips, you know, aren't, see how, see how much space is between your hip and your head there? You know, not as much space with, with Harrington here. But anyway, go ahead and work on that, David. Um, and uh, I'd love to see your, um, your adjustments when you get a chance. Go ahead and send it back to me and we'll see what we got. And we'll put you right back on the, the screen here with uh, Podrick Harrington. Okay? Until then, keep hitting them, David, and I'll talk to you soon.